Welcome to your magical moon message. This is the peace dealer. Where's that helicopter? Where's that helicopter? All right, screw it. What it do, moon and Scorpio, sun and Capricorn. I was gonna say Aquarius. The moon is 11 houses from the sun. Huge warning, especially with energy as deep. Scorpio is easily the most deep and intense energy when Aquarius is on. But other than that, I'm totally just joking. <laughs> Unless I'm wrong. Aquarius, let me know if I'm wrong or not. But other than that, um, you want to be very mindful of the negativity you receive because it's a reflection of a reaction to your ascension. You remember, you ascended Sagittarius season. And so you have noticed more than ever a lot of the view of you, a lot of the reaction towards you, and a lot of the receptivity towards you has uh, changed considerably. Not only that, okay, you may have experienced, especially getting ready for this new moon, that certain people might be terrified of how you've leveled up, especially because you may have given them a false impression that you were at a certain level, but that was always just a mask of you holding yourself back. Whereas this leveling up has forced you to release those masks. People are going to be more and more uncomfortable of how much more capable you've always been. As this will trigger especially with the moon in Scorpio automatically deep, deep, deep insecurities that, you know, people may not have really worked to deal with. And so in their inability to accept the truth and reality, this will consciously and unconsciously trigger once again, especially with the moon in Scorpio <laughs> opposite Uranus, very extreme, weird, near demonic, you know, or, or cursed spiritual reactions and projections towards you and so you must not take this personally you actually want to take this as a sign of evolution you want to also study the psychology of opposing forces where every frequency has a opposing force or counterpart you want to start to see how the strengthening opposition of what comes up to oppose you actually makes you stronger just like somebody who plays a video game and every fight that they win, they level up, okay? If the person who they're fighting is weak, they're not gonna level up that much. If the person who they're fighting gives them a challenge, it's going to, you know, you get it. So keep that in mind. Many of you are so powerful, but you've made yourself believe that opposition is bad and so you shrink towards conflict this transit's going to make you realize, why did I ever hesitate for conflict? I'm a fucking badass at this. And some of you have always known this, but this is going to make this evident, okay? Let me tell you why this transit's going to be lit. Jupiter's going to go into Pisces. So we're here, y'all. This is, this is the grand happening where everything changes. I want you to go back to 2013, like 2012, 2013, 2015, 2016, okay? 2019 yeah and of course now 2022 but i want you to go back to 2013 2016 and 2019 that was when jupiter was in gemini virgo and sagittarius when jupiter goes through mutable signs um this changes perspectives this is why jupiter and sagittarius you saw bieber you saw kanye return to christ you know what i'm saying um, this is why you're seeing more people kind of change faiths. It's less to do about Christianity because it's happening the other way around, too. You're having people just change their beliefs. With Sagittarius, it was in a collective way. And so for this phenomena of you seeing people change their beliefs, I hope you know that's just the beginning. In the, in the last days, there's going to be an outpouring of the spirit where people are going to be super pure and people are going to be super evil the key word here is super and shout out to uh, dragon ball super so other than that shout out to the angels um 
this is very important because now this re receptivity to purity here in Scorpio, opposite Uranus and Taurus, shout out to the Pluto Scorpio generation. Um, for everybody, this is going to literally have you understand the depth of wisdom in terms of how you coral the purest sexual energy within you and manifest this practically in the most unconventional of ways. So you might even be unconscious to this because this is this is a pure, deeper, darker energy. Scorpio represents the underworld. So it's not necessarily something like Gemini that's on the, the level of your thoughts. You're getting ready with this 11th house aspect to the sun in Capricorn to step into the new moon. And so the 11th house aspect of any transit is rewards and wishes. You're going to get a lot of what you want. But remember, everything that you're manifesting right now is in route to prepare you for this new Jupiter Pisces cycle and also for the new moon in Capricorn. And so I need to take you back to April, March, April, May, when Jupiter first entered Pisces. What happened? Spend like 10 minutes to meditate on what happened because you're revisiting this. Jupiter going back into Pisces is getting ready to fly through Pisces. Like in May, it's out of there. And guess what's going to happen when it's out of there? The sun's going to be on the north node. You are now in the rabbit hole. I don't know if you know, but you're getting ready to cross a divine portal. This is where, once again, I'm saying people are pretentious and entitled. A lot of people are entitled to explanations from you when they don't even know shit. So you would waste your time explaining stuff to them that would go over their head or under their radar. You owe no one an explanation. And so the more intense you're standing in your power, the more intense that opposing force because they're insecure, weak little bitches. And listen, you're not going to get compassion from me. This is a war like compassion only goes towards those who deserve it and let your discernment. You know, some of you, I think, have gotten off on giving your time and energy to people who are not worth it because you were trained to do so to give your power away. This is this is intensely taking it back. This is very, 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 very important because the pure energy of Scorpio is going to reveal not only secrets. We're going to have that trine to Neptune. OK, it's not going to only reveal secrets that will tie you into mind blowing, profound synchronicities. Everything that you're understanding with this wisdom is geared towards Capricornian total action and self-realization. You're going to understand occult hidden wisdom and secrets about the highest self-realization of your character that will terrify you because you have to accept that you're way more powerful than you could ever imagine. You're way more capable than you could ever imagine. This is going to put you around people who and, and energies and essences that are getting ready to help you level up, but even more importantly, helping you really transform the decisions and the power with which you operate. So what's coming back around is this deep wisdom. And what's even more important about this, once again, is with that light trying to Jupiter and Pisces, this is getting ready to expand super magically your beliefs. The whole notion of this Jupiter Neptune is a transit we haven't had since the 1800s. So the last time Jupiter was in Neptune, you know, you had the Dred Scott case in America where stupid ass people didn't know, is this, is this dude human? Does this black man really deserve rights? Fucking delusional. So, you know, given that, you know, people can't uh, come to terms with this whole <laughs> like some things just repeat. OK, don't think that because it was an older age, we're more smart. I like to think we might even be dumber with all this technology <laughs> like we're just smarter idiots but it is what it is no worries this is everything to be grateful for because you're definitely going to be in a position to put whoever or energies need to be put in their place while honoring those who really acknowledge and and help uplift you and vice versa so the pure intensity of this energy is going to really uh, give a lot of people unconsciously and subconsciously relative to their inability to accept these shadows within themselves, which causes them to project them on others, uh, huge extreme reactions towards you. And the trick is because a lot of this is very guilt. See, Capricorn and Scorpio is the guilt shame matrix. 
the negative part of Capricorn and Scorpio is manipulation, uh, dark psychology and control. And so if I can put a guilt shame matrix around you and start to make you feel guilty and ashamed just for being you, <laughs> just for expressing your thoughts, this is going to limit you. And in a sense where, you know, there's integrity and purity, it's less guilt manipulation and it's more, you know, holding others accountable to integrity. But in the case where you're, de you know, weak people, insecure people need someone to feel better than. And so what you're going to see exposed are people who play these psychological games. And you I'm not going to say like if I'm not a cancer, I'm progressing through cancer. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a water sign. I don't get it twisted. I'm progressed Pisces moon, cancer sign, but I'm going to get into fire soon. Like I'm just not I can be compassionate, but the people who deserve it. So like I really don't have compassion. For, for these demons. You feel me? Like, oh, I'm an exorcist. I slay these motherfuckers. So that's just my attitude. So just keep that in mind because given this guilt, you know, you don't want to be angry. You need to kind of see through it. If you want to have compassion, you can, if it's deserved. But weak people have to guilt trip and shame trip people because that's the only way they can control people. People who are secure in themselves don't have to do that because they don't attach. They're secure in themselves. So whether people do want to do what they want or not, it's not, you know what I'm saying? It's, they, they, they know they have power within themselves. So people are going to be reacting to your inner locus of control. Um, and, you know, as intelligent as certain people may seem, when it comes to these spiritual principles, they're fucking stupid. And, and it's going to kind of trip you out because society has taught you to look at the wrong indicators for success and intelligence. And this wisdom of Scorpio is going to show you the wisdom of integrity. OK, and it's going to show you what it re success really looks like concerning the moon trying to Neptune as Jupiter goes into Pisces. You're getting ready at a deep soul level to be initiated into new wisdom that's going to fully holistically integrate everything you've learned over the past 12 years. I'm so proud of you, to be honest, like your growth has been exceptional. And it's very important for you to understand because many of you have been around people who do the opposite instead of acknowledging it, demonize you for it. And it's fucked up. So a transit like this is going to remind you, oh, no, you, you've always been a shit. You, it's even beyond just being worthy. I mean, in a practical level, like there's stats now. So keep this in mind. The synchronicities you're going to see will challenge who you think you are because you're seeing synchronicities that match who you're meant to be, which is who you are now. But you may not have fully embodied or actualized. And so many of you may feel literally on the brink of stepping into situations that you think are just beyond your capacity to manifest. And that's a fucking lie. Like your ability to make what you want happen is even greater than what you think you're able to do or feel you're able to do or sense. And it's going to be a transit like this that literally shows you miracles. It's just, will you recognize it's a miracle? Because if you listen to dumbass motherfuckers who really whether because who try and undermine you instead of acknowledge you, they're going to turn your W's into L's. And this is highly psychological energy. A lot of people psychologically reinforce negativity with positivity. Be careful of what people congratulate you for, because that can actually just reinforce you to be limited. So, like, you have to read between the lines. Don't listen to what people say. Feel their spirit. And be prepared to see the truth. It's not a good or bad thing. Just be prepared to see this because Scorpio and Capricorn, King Kunks, Gemini. So the finger of God is with Gemini. OK, the south node from Sag to the north node in Gemini. And there's going to be a transformation that will bring an initial sense of everything you've ever wanted because of the collective totality of Capricorn. Now, the square to Aquarius is going to challenge how well you maintain this purity with higher authoritarian knowledge in, in, in Saturn to organize your deeper understanding of this wisdom. Population is Aquarius. Okay. Saturn is control. 
Saturn in Aquarius is population control. If you still don't know that billions of people are going to die through this quantum invasion slowly, you don't know that you're in a war. And I'm not saying this to make you afraid. I'm saying this to make you aware. Do you remember we're in the apocalypse and the end is here, not near, here. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. But Godspeed. And I hope you enjoy what's to come. Y'all stay blessed as always. Peace.